What's up, y'all? I'm Alicia West, or better known as Ace, and I'm back with another video. This video is all about positivity. So y'all know I'm like the self-proclaimed positivity queen or whatever. And so I wanted to share some of my tips on how I stay positive. Last year, I made the conscious decision that I wanted to be more positive, simply because I wanted a better life. I was tired of living in self-doubt and being surrounded by a bunch of negative Nancy's. I mean, I wasn't, you know, the most positive person, but, you know, we've changed that. We're better now. So I'm going to give you the five ways I stay positive. Number one, the first way to stay positive is with positive affirmations. Have you ever seen that TV show called Being Mary Jane? You know how she goes around and she puts like sticky notes all over her place? Well. I'm kind of that person and I have sticky notes everywhere from my bathroom mirror to my desk to on my light switch everywhere that I know I'm going to constantly be on a regular basis I put a little note there to remind myself that I'm bomb being a woman being a woman of color working in media shit even being on social media like Instagram it can be rough real rough so I'm constantly reminding myself that I am enough. And you should too. Number two, sharing positive vibes only. If you follow me on Snapchat, you already know every morning I'm like, I hope you guys are having a positive and productive day. It's Monday. When I started doing that on a regular basis, I started receiving messages from everybody saying how much they look forward to it in the morning, how it helps them get their ass up. And in turn, they would start sending me positive affirmations. Seeing other people happy makes me happy, helps me have a positive and productive day. Do you get it? Do you see what's happening there? It's all in the universe, baby. So put it out there and you'll get it back tenfold. Number three. <sighs> you gotta get rid of those who just don't belong. It's honestly gonna be the hardest thing that you will probably ever have to do because nobody really likes having those conversations. At the end of the day, not everybody's going to be on the same road to success as you are. And that's their choice. But it's your choice to make the decision on whether they stay in your life or they don't. Regardless of how long they've been in your life, how much stuff you guys have been through, there comes a point in your life where you just gotta... Cut it. 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 That's what you gotta do. But that's if you want to bring your life to the next level. Because listen, we ain't got no time for no baby mama or daddy drama. The exes, they're exes for a reason. You gotta leave them in the past. People who are always criticizing you and do not have anything positive or uplifting to say, they just all gotta go. Bye. Number four. So the fourth way. Know who you are. Yes, you. You gotta do some soul searching. When you know the type of person that you are, how you work, and what your best attributes are, it makes life so much easier. In the last year, I've had a bunch of time to spend with myself, which has allowed me to really get to know who Alicia is. I can now tell you how I'm gonna react to certain situations. I know what I would say, the actions I would take, whether tears are gonna come pouring down. I, I know all that. That's because I've taken the time to really evaluate who I am as a person, what sets me off, all the triggers, and essentially I've been able to work on bettering myself. Because of this, I now know how to stay away from those situations that aren't so positive. I've also accepted who I am. Some things just can't change as much as we want them to change. Some things are just really stuck in us and we ain't really gonna be able to change that. So we gotta accept it and be able to know when we need to like step away so that that negative side of us that thing that we can't really change doesn't really come up or just be like yo listen i'm gonna be like china who are you texting and what the f are you talking about all crazy uh, talking about who are you texting who are you texting yeah, and what the sometimes you that still doesn't just change like sometimes that's just we're born with it we gotta accept it Overall, when you know who you are as a person, it just gives you a better outlook on life and just how to live more. Fabulous. Gone with the wind, fabulous. Fabulous. I mean, I'm still a work in progress, but 
I'm a lot better than last year, let me tell you that. And the last one, aka number five. At the end of the day, you need to see the bigger picture. You are on this earth for a reason. You have a purpose. When you begin to serve that purpose, hunty, you start feeling way more fulfilled. Once you start using every single day to the best of your ability, you will literally just feel better. I know, sometimes it's gonna be hard to, you know, get that little booty out of bed. But try your best to stay productive. When you think a certain situation is just gonna be your downfall and you're, oh my god, like I'm gonna die, I'm never gonna be able to recover from this, what did I do, oh my god. Just remember, that situation is like this big, this, this big, compared to your whole entire life. In every negative situation, I promise you there's a little tiny, tiny bit of positivity and light. It's just up to you to essentially find it. It might take a little digging, it might take a little bit longer than others to find it, but it's there. So keep busy, stay active, set those goals, and you know, just ace it. <laughs> That's a wrap on the top five ways that I stay positive. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you guys were able to take something from it. Leave a comment down below. I wanna know how you guys stay positive. Share with me, cause you know, sharing is caring, and whatever you put out there, it's gonna come back. Also, make sure that you like this video and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, just taste it. <laughs> Story time about how yes, how I got fired. So we're going to take it back to...